friends, it's Bethany. I have a craft room update for you that I totally forgot to share. I was looking through my phone the other day and I realized that I had filmed a little bit of a sneak peek and it's been months since I filmed this and well, here we are. So last time I left you, we did not have a countertop. Now the laminate countertops are installed. They're beautiful, I love them. And as I mentioned in the last video, I was going to leave this protective blue film on all of the cabinets until the countertops were installed, just to make sure they were nice and protected. There's a lot of things that go into custom countertops, a lot of glue, a lot of tools. So I just wanted to make sure that they were protected during the installation and they turned out beautiful. Now we are getting real. So we have the production lights up. My husband is in charge of all the techie things. I definitely am the creative one and he just makes all the dreams come true. So he does all of that for me. And I'm so thankful because it's kind of like a different language when we think about uh, technical stuff, for me at least. And now speaking of the design part, I'm so excited because it's time to put the poles on the cabinets. So my husband has a little template here that he's using. I'll try to link it down below if I can ask him and see what he's using. And I'm just going right behind him with the shop vac. The shop vac has become my favorite tool ever. From selling a house to buying a house, I have used a shop vac more in the last year than I have in my entire life, and I have learned that it is my favorite thing ever. So I'm just going behind him to get everything all vacuumed up as he is placing all of the holes for all the beautiful cabinet poles. Again, these poles are from Ikea, and they are exactly the same as the poles that I used in my last craft room. They were gorgeous last time, they're gorgeous this time, and I had to use them again. So I'm doing the fun job of putting them on. I actually find this so gratifying. So I told him, if you drill all the holes, please save the installation of the handles for me. For some reason, I just find this so gratifying and I loved every second of it. So it's been a while of putting this craft room together. Not only did we move, but that comes with a lot of work moving into an entire new house, getting settled, being a full-time mommy. So when you think about it, I only have had about two hours in the evening each night to even think about this. And that's on top of actually getting creative and creating some videos for you. So it's been a really beautifully slow process, but I am loving how everything's turning out and I cannot wait to show you the final result. It's gonna be just so pretty. It's everything that I hoped it would be. And again, I'm waiting on one last thing and then it's gonna be reveal time. So back with the shop vac, I'm just getting all of those little shavings that come off when putting the little drill holes in the front of the cabinets. And I'm excited because the next step here is going to be shiplap on the walls. So that also is a very dusty process. So I told my husband what I was aiming for was getting all of my craft supplies actually in the drawers so that they would be protected, if you will, from all of the dust that comes from all the construction for putting the shiplap up. And I don't have any footage of the shiplap. You'll see that in the final tour because when I was making this video, we were just getting started. But I'm really excited because this was a big turning point in my craft room. Once the craft area was complete and constructed with the countertops, it was time to get everything out of the boxes and get everything moved in. And let me tell you, it was kind of like Christmas. At that point, my craft stuff had been packed up for almost five months. And it was really nice to see all those things again. Of course, I was going through boxes in the meantime as we were moving in to grab certain things so I could create in the meantime. But for the most part, it had been a while since I had seen a lot of my supplies and it was a nice little reunion. So I have to say I lost count at how long it actually took me to put all these poles on, but I just put on some of my favorite shows, binged them, and we just got it all done. I have to say one of my love languages might be cleaning because I was just so excited throughout this entire process to get these counters all wiped down and to start getting everything inside of all of the drawers. This is just where I shine. I was patient through all of the process of the construction and I was waiting for this moment so I could just get in there and get everything moved in. Speaking of something I miss so much, my heat press is here. I had to have my hubby come and put it in for me. It's so heavy. And then I got it all situated, but I was so, so excited to be reunited. This is one of my best purchases that I've ever gotten for my craft room. And I just had to give her a little hug. So happy she's back. 
All right, so let's open some drawers and this is the moment I have just been dreaming of, is getting everything organized and put in place. As I was watching all of these drawers being constructed and put into position, I was dreaming of how I wanted to arrange things and it's quite a process getting everything just so. And if you haven't watched some of my craft room tours in the past, I do talk about how sometimes you get everything organized and then you have to rethink it. Or sometimes you get everything organized and into place and then you have to actually go into your craft room and start crafting in the space. And once you begin crafting in your space after you've organized it, then you can really start thinking about if you have it laid out correctly, if you need to move around some items that are in the drawers. So just be really patient with yourself if you are building a craft space. I find that I get an initial organization really nice and down and then I start crafting in my space and realize, oh, I need to move some of these supplies a little bit closer to me or some of the supplies that are closest to me are things that I don't grab for right away and they can move a little bit further back. So I say all of this just to encourage you that we don't get it right the first time, at least I don't. And I find that I get everything kind of in its place and then I need to rethink it a bit and that's fine. It is a beautifully slow process and it's unique to each person. So that first drawer was adhesive vinyl in solid prints and now I'm just going through and organizing my adhesive vinyl in patterns. This was so fun to do, but in the meantime, as you can see on the left side, I'm also going through and purging some materials and donating them, things that I have kept over the years, but just continuously haven't used. It's kind of like going through your closet. If you haven't worn something in a certain amount of time, it's probably time to just say goodbye. So I was pretty good about going through and donating some things. I believe someone asked me if I did that before or after the move, and before our move, I feel like I was just putting things in boxes. I couldn't focus on things like that, and so I saved it for when I was moving in. Silly, I know, because I moved all of that stuff with us, whether I was keeping it or not, but when you're in the headspace of moving, you're just focused elsewhere, and it's just kind of too much. So I wanted to save some of those choices for when we we were settled and in a little bit more of a space where I could really think about that and slow down. So again, going through, just seeing some things that, you know, I've looked at for a long time, tried to be inspired with, but it's just not working. So I'm going to donate those and say goodbye and keep things that really inspire me in my craft space. So that is it for this little sneak peek. I can't wait to show you the rest. I will link other videos so you can find links to all the things I use in my craft room and I can't wait to see you soon.